Hey everybody, uh, this is Lindsay Walters, and I know this um, extra credit assignment was due yesterday, so um, I'm submitting it today because I was waiting until all of my boxes arrived so that I could show you all the cool stuff that I got for free at the uh, midwinter conference. So whether I get extra credit, I, I don't really care. I just wanted to share with you how amazing the conference was, and uh, so here's some of the cool stuff that I got to find. Here is the stash. <laughs> I was so excited to get all of the free books. So if you ever decide um, or trying to decide which conference to go to in the future, I highly recommend that you go to the ALA Midwinter um, because they literally are just throwing advanced reader copies at you and you can take all the books, which is what I tried to do. Um, so in the top left corner, you'll see that's my stash that I got just from the first night. Um, and I was only there like an hour. So those were, um, that's just what they handed out. Um, and then the other pictures are, um, one's kind of like a bird's eye view of all my piles of stuff that I brought home. And that's not even a picture of like all the free bags and tchotchkes and pins and tattoos and, uh, all kinds of stuff that they were passing out. Um, I also got quite the assortment of, of bags and postcards and posters and stuff like that. Um, but then the picture on the bottom is my stack of books that I got that I actually received. Unfortunately, two of my boxes did not make it. Um, so I have to call the postal service later today and yell at them about, you know, I paid $40 to ship these two boxes. Where are my books? But anyway, I'm really excited about all of the free stuff that I got. And I cannot wait to give these away to all of my kids and teachers here. In addition to all the free stuff that I got, one of my favorite parts about going to this conference um, was that it was just a group of book nerds, and I mean that in the most loving way possible. Um, I was really, really looking forward to meeting Matt De La Pena and Lauren Long. I love Lauren Long's illustrations. He is so kind and sweet, and we talked for like 15 minutes, even though they had such a long line waiting to get um, their new book um, autographed love. If you haven't read it yet, you got to check it out. It's absolutely beautiful. So I got a copy signed for my daughter. Um, and then there's Matt De La Pena in there too. He, um, he's a fabulous writer. If you have not read his other books, um, he's a great advocate, um, for reading and he's won the Newbery before. So if you haven't checked out these guys work, they're amazing. I was so excited to meet them while I was there. These are three other books that I got autographed, and there were more in my pile that I got autographed, but these were three that I was really geeked out about. Uh, Lumber Jeans, this is their first novel that's coming out for the Lumber Jeans series. You've probably heard of it before. Their graphic novels are amazing, and um, my girls just love that series. So this was really exciting that they were there signing their first book that's coming out. Um, and I've also been following their work because they're, um, they're pretty... Um, big in the LGBTQ plus community. So um, I had a really fun conversation with both of them and they're just awesome, awesome people. Um, the other, the next book, Tool of War, is the new one um, by this author. Um, I'm not 100% how to say his last name, but Paulo is awesome. I read uh, Shipbreaker and The Drowned Cities, and uh, he run, won the Prince Award one year, and he is a really fabulous, really cool guy, so I had fun talking to him for a while. And then the last book, um, I was so into this book because it's illustrated by Man One, and he is, this book won some awards this year too, so you'll be seeing it a lot, um, but Man One is a graffiti artist, and now like his stuff is going for thousands of dollars or more. Um, and then I also got to meet one of the um, authors, June Jolie, and she was really fun to talk to about our passion for cooking and um, how important that is for people's culture. So these were really fun people to meet. And finally, the coup d'etat, the, the highlight of my conference, besides getting to hang out with Kim for a bit and interview um, Sam Bloom, which was amazing. I did not realize I was going to get to actually be in that interview, so thank you for that opportunity, Kim. It was fabulous. Um, but it was so much fun to hear Bill and I talk about the importance of libraries and that we really are kind of like the unsung heroes um, 
of the country and, um, you know, exposing our kids and our patrons to a wide variety of different experiences and, and how important that is to teach them a love of reading and give them a safe place to experience the world and what they might um, encounter someday. Um, so I think that that was really profound for me to hear from him. Um, and I mean, who's not going to get geeked out about Bill Nye the Science Guy, right? So, um, yeah, the conference was amazing. I'm so blessed that my district paid for me to go and I cannot wait next year. It's going to be in Louisville or Indy. Um, and so I hope everybody gets to go next year. It's absolutely amazing. So hope you learned a couple of cool things about the conference. Thank you.